Hi class, so this is from the lecture notes and um, hopefully you've worked on this. So we have a solution of 25 milliliters of hydrochloric acid titrated with a standardized sodium hydroxide solution. It takes 36.52 milliliters of 0.09867 molar sodium hydroxide solution to reach the end point. What is the concentration of the hydrochloric acid solution? So they want the concentration. So I'm just going to go ahead and write this out. So molarity is moles of solute over liters of solution. So they want the molarity of the hydrochloric acid solution. So the first thing I'm going to do is write my balanced equation. And we have hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide. And I'll go ahead and so we have sodium chloride salt plus water. So the equation is balanced. So I have a one to one acid to base ratio. That's one to one acid to base ratio. Let's go ahead and determine the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. From there, we can determine the moles of hydrochloric acid. And then from there, we can determine the molarity because we're given the volume of the hydrochloric acid. So we'll take the 0 0.09867 molar sodium hydroxide and we'll multiply by the volume. So they told us it takes 36.52 milliliters. So we have to convert that to liters. And put this into the calculator. So 0 0.09867 times 0 0.03652. And I get 0.003604 moles of sodium hydroxide. So we'll take that, the 0.003604 moles of sodium hydroxide. And we know from our balanced equation that one mole of sodium hydroxide will react with one mole of hydrochloric acid. So that means that we have 0 0.0036 moles of HCl. So now all I have to do is determine the concentration and we have 25 milliliters, which is the same as 0 0.025 liters. So we have 0 0.003604 moles of HCl over the 0 0.025 liters of solution. And that gives us a molarity of 0 0.1 four four one molar. So the hydrochloric acid has a molarity of 0 0.1441 molar. Okay, everybody have a great day, a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.